This time on Nude Clan. No plan from the Schweiss, but we're, we're we're still we're still gonna have fun. Okay, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Cameron's not happy. I'm not happy. The intro's not playing. Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan, the video game podcast where we are forced to play games we would rather not. Yeah. Um, I am your host, Caleb. Caleb Craig. And this is Cameron. And this week we are going to be fucking around and just talking, as always. So, but this time we're just going to broadcast the fucking around so you guys can take part. That's right, yeah. We're going to be here. You can watch us. You can listen to us. Um... Yeah, uh, I kind of want to talk about like where we are in the year, what like we want to finish before the end of the year. It's probably going to be mostly Caleb and I because I don't think Cameron really cares about like his goals. It's just like whatever he's forced to play, and then I don't <laughs> know. Maybe maybe you can play. like maybe you can say like, "Hey, I want to get that one gold trophy for using all of the new weapons in the Battlefield One DLC." No, or something. no, like, no. Yeah, maybe, maybe something along those lines. But uh, I kind of want to talk about that, and then I also want to talk about like our favorite horror games or uh, you know Halloween themed games as well, because it is getting that time of that time of the year. And um, survival horror is one of my favorite genres. You know that Alice that we're playing is considered survival horror. Is it really? Yeah, I would say it's like. A, Action adventure. <laughs> it hurts me to say. It's a fucking platformer. Yeah. The only thing that's horror about the game is the game itself. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's the shit it does to you psychologically. That's that's the real horror. Craig's on the edge, guys. Yeah. yeah. Craig on fire. Craig yeah. on Craig on the edge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, before we dive into that, um, what has everyone been playing this week? Uh, well, I've been playing Alice and uh, some Witcher Three, and uh, played a little bit of Destiny Two, and I I got that uh, PlayStation Now subscription because they they reset it. You did get the no, PlayStation no 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 no. So they reset my the the trial thing because like I did it for forever ago, and so they added the new feature to like download the games. So I I, I tried the I, do, I did the trial again, the seven day free trial, and I tried to play Wet, which was a old, old Bethesda game back on PS3. It was a like an actiony type game that was supposed to be really stylish, you know, like you'd jump and you'd go slow mo and she'd like kill two people at once and it felt very bounty hunter. And then I stopped. <laughs> so, uh, once I started I, getting a bounty, it, who yeah, whiff, well, I got once the, I started getting a whiff of like, Boba Fett's well, crotch, like should have said it a no, drop. It. So the, it, like, it, it, was, it had the same fucking feature. Like it was like uh, the chick can kill two people at once uh, by aiming the two guns. Like, she just aim at somebody, and then she'll shoot the nearest other opponent. And I was like, oh, no. And then <laughs> rapidly hitting the score button is what made her shoot faster? No, you still shoot with R1. But it oh, was, okay. it, yeah, I was like, uh... What's it got a, the got combat, a whiff? The combat was a lot slower than I remembered on the... Uh, on the uh, demo when I played it forever ago on PS3. And, uh, yeah, I was hoping it would live up to my expectations of the demo, but it did not. Hmm. Are you saying you weren't wet? I, I, was, I was not wet. I was, one, one would say, I was supremely dry. One would say the decision to nominate uh, Bounty Hunter was done through rose-colored glasses. So, Yeah, you mean after playing it? Because you played it first. 
Yeah. A little bit before you nominated it. Yeah. How was that rose-colored glasses? Yeah, I mean, the first part wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. It, the the bad came later. No, the bad was throughout. <laughs> it was throughout. bad touch from the beginning. It was, yeah. But yeah, nice. that's all I've been playing. So just Atlas and Wet, huh? I, I feel well, like I Alice almost... Atlas and Witcher, the two I played the most. Oh. Why yeah. are you playing Witcher? I want to play Witcher. Hmm. It's a game I've had since it came out, and I... It came out in 2015. Beat. Yeah, I know. Wow. Okay. I yeah, I bought it, like, fucking on launch. It was great. I have a physical copy, has soundtrack, has map. It's great. Love, love that copy. Yeah, so much that you never but, finished it. Yeah, so much that I never finished it because Nude Clan got in the way, and I was like, "This is like a <laughs> two hundred Nude hour Clan game." Nude Clan got in the way of my it dreams. It did. It's a fucking two hundred hour game, and I was like, "I got other stuff." to Hey, play Nude right Clan now. started in uh, twenty sixteen. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Craig it. Yeah, no, or twenty seventeen. No, because this is season three, and we started in January. Yes, and 2018 would be season three, 2017 would be season two, 2016 would be season no. one. No, we would have had to have started in 2015. Caleb, that, no. Yeah, season Caleb started. Three. we started in 2015 Caleb. for season three to be in 2018. Caleb. No. Caleb. Craig. The first episode of the show, The Games We Play, is January 3rd, 2016. Yeah, it's all of 2016 for season one. 2017 is season two. 2018 is season three. What? <laughs> Doodly. What the fuck stopped me from playing Witcher then? No, you're, uh, yourself. You <laughs> no, there got was something. The there, no, there was something. There was something that stopped Netflix. me from playing it. It was yeah, remember the Netflix days where you'd spend hours and hours no. on Netflix trying to find what to watch? No, Netflix was forever <laughs> yeah, not ago. not actually Netflix, watching anything. Netflix was in like 2013. That's yeah, why I had that's, my Netflix year. That's true, yeah. yeah. That was the year of the flicks. I think it was Netflix and like League of Legends. Yeah, those were like the only two things I was, was one doing. One extremely toxic thing and then yeah. a bunch of nothing. <laughs> I think that was the year I platinumed Uncharted 2, though. So I did some other gaming, but not a lot. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Cameron? What have you been playing this week? Um, so I haven't had as much time this week to do gaming. I had other stuff I had to do this week. Um, but I played Dark Souls, of course. I played a little bit of Overwatch for the Halloween event they have going on. I played some... Oh, what was the other game? Some destiny 2 played some of that gambit mode Mm -hmm. and i think gambit is what's going to bring me back to destiny for the next month before i throw it down in frustration again because i'm bored um and then i played a little bit of just like a minute or like uh, more like 20 minutes of uh rainbow six siege not siege the other one bat no wildlands Wildlands? Ghost Recon? Ghost Ghost Recon Wildlands? Yeah. It's not a Rainbow Six. Game. Sorry, Ghost Recon Wildlands. It is Tom Clancy. <laughs> it is Tom Clancy, but it's not Rainbow and Six. And then I played probably another 20, no, I'd say closer to an hour of Witcher this week. Oh, curious amount of Witcher going on. That's weird. I mean, everyone else, and I was begging for any multiplayer game besides Destiny, but all Craig did was play Witcher. I told you I'd play Drive Club. Yeah, but I beat you. That is not true. It's, it's, I beat you it's a pretty. few times. <laughs> uh, Craig uh, makes me laugh. Was that one of the free games? Or yeah, I, uh, no, Drive okay. Club was a free game. It should is it still free? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like a free game for PlayStation. Oh, it's just a free game. Yeah. Oh, got it. Um. All right. Sweet. Yep. What about you? Um. So I played. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, My Life is a King, um, which is basically, it's like, you know those, uh, do you know those sports games, Cameron, like the NFL head coach games? You ever seen those? NFL head coach? Yeah, you play as like the coach and you like get all, you do all the boring paperwork shit and you get the players to be on the team and then you don't actually play the football game at all. You just manage the team. Why is that a game? <laughs> I don't know, but that's basically what this game is, but for Final Fantasy, like... 
What? Yeah, you're you're supposed to rebuild your kingdom, and you send adventurers out to do the Final Fantasying <laughs> as you sit back at your castle and do nothing. You know what? Don't describe this with that smirk on your face, because how often do you complain about games like Skyrim, where you make it to the to the top seat? And then you're like, well, why are you sending me on these missions when someone else should be doing <laughs> these? Now you finally have a game that lets you experience just that. Just high-level management. That should just be in Skyrim. Making now. decisions, sending people out on adventures. Pretty soon, you'd, you'd, you'd love to go back to Skyrim, being the, the guy in charge and also the guy going doing all the errands. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. The thing is, though, is uh, it's annoying because like you send your adventurers out and... like. There are some fucking missions in that game where I'm like, go collect some, like, fucking fire magicite so that we can get more upgrades on our fire. And it's, like, an easy area. It's, like, a level 10. And, like, I'll send my beefcake characters out, and they'll come back, like, fucking KO'd. And I'm like, what the hell is happening in this game? Like, these people are just getting wiped? Like, what is this? Area says it's, like, level 10. They're, like, level 40, and they're just fucking coming back dead. Huh. So that does seem of- annoying. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit. Do you ever get to the it. bottom of that? Maybe that's the story of the actual hero of the game. You're just the evil overlord trying to manage the kingdom. You know what the funny thing is? It's in your guys to the to the low level areas to gather resources, but that's where the hero is starting his journey. Yeah. The funny thing is, is there's another one called My Life is a Dark Lord, and I'm pretty sure that's I mean, I fought the Dark Lord at the end of the game, and I think it's a tower defense game. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be me defending my dark kingdom against the guys that I attacked with earlier yeah. as the light side. <laughs> so it's going to be exactly what you're saying. It's going to be me as there the baddies, go. like, fighting off these assholes that came in and, like, try to steal all our shit. Um, that's going to be fun when I get to that. But Hey, we have a good thing going here. Don't ruin it. Yeah. Uh, so that game, I, I played a lot of that game, all of that game, actually, in, like, a, a two-day, three-day span. And I also played. <laughs> I also played a shitload of Bayonetta two. Um, nice. Can't can't get enough of that Bayonetta right now, and it's pretty fucking sweet. But uh, yeah, I played both of those games. Two is even better than the first game. N- even funnier, even more sexual. Somehow they made it that way, and it's great. Um, can't wait for Bayonetta three triple the sexism um, on that one. But, uh, all right, yeah, now that we know what everyone has been playing this week, the real question, the important question is, has anyone beaten a game this week? Yeah, I beat American McGee's Alice. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. American... Fucking hurdle. A.M. Alice. How about that? All right, Cameron? Uh, yes. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. I'll have to go back to the previous page. Uh, what did you What did you complete? Uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Oh, wow, nice. You didn't say you played that at all. Yes, I did. No, oh, I don't remember that. I said I played Dark Souls. I don't, remember I don't think that Craig either. remembers it either. I I did. All right. Um, I beat two games. I beat the uh, Crystal Chronicles, My Life as a King. And I also beat Bayonetta 2. Nice. All right. So (sighs) the hog for the hosts is as follows. Caleb Craig still reigns King Hog with 29 games beaten this year. I am in second place with 28. Cameron is in third place with 12. Nice. Yeah. Got to step up your game, Cam Cam. Yeah, man. Get on the second page. Yeah, get on the same page as us. (laughs) (laughs) We're not on the fucking same page. We're not. Yeah, it's it's sad to have to, like, flip back and scrawl some letters down for you Um, each time you finally get around to beating a fucking game. Uh, but honestly, page two is double what you have now. So, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be hitting that page two. I don't know. We'll and see. I don't know if it's a problem. That uh, I don't know if it's a problem that you won't. You know? I don't I don't see why it would be a problem. Yeah. you've you. I'm playing all the games that are nominated. That's true. And you haven't been late, unlike me, with the Skyrim. So This year, yeah. 
can't uh I guess we can't really complain too much. Mm-hmm. So, Craig, we got a question. We do have a couple questions. I'll pull them up now. Okay, so the first one is from uh Corby Callahan. It said if you had a last meal, what would it be? A last meal? What are you implying here, Corby? So if we had a last meal, what it would it be? Yeah. What would you have for your last meal? Food. Boar. Boar? Yeah. Never had boar before. Just like a fucking whole boar. Yep, a boar with an apple in its mouth. Full hog on the last meal. All right. Game cape. You know... I don't know. How about just some ramen? That'd be good. Some ramen? Yeah, just some ramen. Such a... Okay. I'm on a ramen kick right now, so... Yeah? I think... I think I would, like, really try to, like... Die by the meal. So I would get that (laughs) that burger from Topgolf. And then also just, like, a couple orders of the, uh... The pineapple uh, fajitas from Tapatio. Getting the call coming right now. Oh man, that new Skype ringtone. <laughs> no, 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 don't answer. Not a good voice, man. Um, it's someone we know. Is nah, it? just let it go through. Yeah. Well, I didn't answer it, but yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't last know if I want to die by that, but I just I just get some good ramen. If it's gonna be your last meal, like why would you not want it to be? The other day I went to the Asian market that's uh, close by, and uh, I went in their store, and I'm trying to stick to the diet. And I walk in, and I go into the ramen aisle. First mistake was going into the Asian market. Second mistake was finding the ramen aisle, and they have every conceivable packet of instant or you know just stovetop ramen that you could ever want including they have fresh ramen noodles too that you just you know boil for like a minute and a half to cook the noodles all the way and make your own broth um but i was in there i'm like okay well this is happening and i buy like a fuck ton of ramen (laughs) and my own personal ramen bowl with a little koi fish down at the bottom (laughs) koi fish yeah. yeah so you're just like not on the diet anymore Oh, well, I ate that yesterday, so it was delicious. Diet's lame. Uh, so, yeah, probably, I don't know. I wouldn't want ramen for my last meal. Uh, yeah, let's just go with that, though. It's ramen? Yeah. Don't want that to happen to you? <sighs> Only if they make it right there for me so it's fresh. Well, and that would be implied. Okay, then, yeah, that to you. Yeah. All right. Dude, their steak fries are fucking awesome. All right, so our next question is from Chase versus Game. It says Ubisoft comes knocking at your uh, at your day, why day, and tells you that they're running out of ideas for their next Assassin's Creed game. Well, that's <laughs> obvious. Uh, they ask you, where do you think the next Assassin's Creed should take place? Assassin's Creed. Who should be the protagonist? Do you make the character? Are they female? Okay, so listen to here, Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed Wall Street. It's going to be the next big thing. I Assassin's promise you. Assassin's Creed Wall Street? <laughs> the Big Depression is just about to happen. The Great Depression. <laughs> the Big Depression? The Big Sad. The, the, huge, <laughs> the huge Depression. Um, and... You are an element of change to bring you know, the bring the winds of change through Wall Street to, to make America great. That that doesn't seem like that would be an Assassin's Creed setting. <laughs> it's just the change happens through blood. All right, same thing, but you're you're Trump instead, and you're causing the change, <laughs> and all of the the Democrats are the Templars. <laughs> These are bad people, terrible people. All of Mexico is Templar. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> That'd be a great game. Huge game. No, um, for real, though, would be awesome. But I, I think the uh, a good Assassin's Creed, I've always kind of felt like each time they come out with a new area, it's like kind of exciting. It's like, oh, man, we had the 
Uh, didn't they have one that was like Native Americans in uh... sort of? They had the the American Revolution thing, but it was you, only like the last few missions. Weren't you for like the a, a Native Revolution. though? Yeah, you were like half Native. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, um, fuck. What do you I, like? Assassin's Creed Viking would be kind of fun. You know, you just go yeah, and like Vikings rape and pillage. Cool. Um, mm. And you're the good guys. You're raping the Templars. Of course, you're like, it's fucking Templars, and they're still thinking about that uh, goblin yeah. show. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the goblin? What are you talking about? It's nothing. Okay. Um, I think I think if they did like an actual Russian one instead of like the the side scroller one oh, that came what out about, with, what about would be pretty the sweet. Bolshevik Revolution? Yeah, that's the yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, I don't. That may be the side scroller one that they did, but I don't really. I, I didn't know, know they did a side scroller one. Yeah, they made like three side scroller ones of uh, China, India, and then Russia. So, which all would have been awesome, you know, regular Assassin's Creed games, but they're they're like you know just side scroller, side scroller Assassin's Creed. Get our B team on that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Mongols. <laughs> the Mongols are pretty, pretty sweet, yeah. Assassin's Creed Mongol. The building of the uh, the Great Wall against the Mongols. <laughs> um, and Who then you'd be? be sent on uh, missions down into China and then Eastern Europe. Genghis would the, uh, would the uh, Mongols be the Templars or would they be the... No, the Eastern Assassins? Europeans would be the, the Templars. Oh, okay. And also the Chinese, and also the Arabic nations. No, those are just nations that the Mongols are suppressing and eventually turning into society. Oh, okay. Spain would be a pretty cool one. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they're close enough to that, though. What about, like, I, I, someone said in here Aztecs. I say, like, Cortez Aztec. Aztec instead. Cool. And, like, the Aztecs are the Templars. The Aztecs you, are the Templars. Yes, and you give them. <laughs> that doesn't and you, and you no defeat sense. them. You defeat them with disease. And no, although you know the, the uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, the with the uh, the Templars are like a group of weird ancient people. In 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 the Assassin's Creed Origins, it's I weird. would say Egypt, but they just did that. Yeah, so. yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. Do they do anything with, like, the Egyptian gods and stuff? Yeah, you can fight them. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is Odyssey, which is ancient Rome. Part of Sparta. Do you get to run your hand through a, a, a wheat field? I don't know. I think you actually do. I think there's a part where he does do that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. That's one of the pastimes. It's like a, it's like a staple. I think they have that like on their ancient Roman movies on their like travel <laughs> cards. You know, it's like go see the Colosseum. You know, uh, go bathe in the rivers. Run your hand through a wheat field. Come to Rome today. I think there'd be a cool, a, a cool pamphlet. option for Assassin's Creed in the feudal Japan. When it's the when it's the samurai versus the actual government and the the seat of power keeps moving back and forth, I mean that's fucking there's ripe for lot, assassination. There's, there's a lot of time periods in Japan that, that would, would be, be perfect, perfect for. It. Yeah, let's. I think that is the there's next like, place like it needs to be. Pre, um, they didn't have era. they didn't have any any assassins creeds that have any sort of ties to Japan yet, do they? I'm thinking. Think I'm so. thinking. We're, no. We need some actual shinobi or some ninja assassin creed games. Or, I think they didn't want to do that. Why? Because <laughs> like it would be too obvious. I think. <laughs> I is think it's time now. From. It's time now to 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 do that Assassin's Creed style, or like a Civil War one instead. A Civil War one. Yeah, where like Abraham Lincoln is like the leader of the assassins. And you have to go against that. That uh, would be sweet. <laughs> top hat assassin. Yeah, and he's like... Oh, 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 oh. What if the whole time you are John Wilkes Booth doing the bidding of Abraham Lincoln, but then you find out he's a Templar at the end? And then you have to kill him? <laughs> what if that was the game? Oh, that would man. be pretty sweet. <laughs> like, you're his best friend, and then you find out. It's just like in the first Assassin's Creed game where your, like, master is, like, a fucking... 
temple. Already. You're doing the you bidding, like like, like he 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 pretends to be in charge of the Assassin's Creed chapter in the Americas, and then they're all laughing because the Templar has control over the the you know the Creed in the Americas. But then it comes to find out he's actually the Templar in charge of everything, and he infiltrated the Assassin's organization, and so now you have to go get rid of him. Wow, that would be a pretty epic twist. I mean, everyone would know. Unless but you, what if they don't ever call you John Wilkes Booth until it's at the end? And that's just like in the what credits. They just call you John. <laughs> Whoa, that's a good one. Can can blew his own mind. <laughs> we got one more. We got one more. Uh, one more question. Yeah. Uh, uh, Skull Hades says, uh, "Scale of one to ten, how excited are you for the new Disturbed album?" Um. One. One? Yeah. I don't really get excited for Disturbed anymore. Yeah. Didn't they just have an album? It was a few years ago. Oh. It was, uh... Was that the their Sound of Silence yeah. abomination? Just like a single? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Well, no, it was a single on that album. On the new album? Yeah, on the newest one. It came out in, like... It was, like, two or three years ago, though. Mm. Immortalized... I'm just so used to bands not like making albums for decades, like Tool and Metallica. And then you have bands like uh, Megadeth who make an album every month. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know, man. The whole the whole Godsmack thing with how shitty their last CD is. Like I, I just can't trust anymore in a band that's under thirty years old. You know. Like, if they've got the 30-plus years, they'll probably put out some pretty good stuff. But if they're sub-30, there's no trust there. It's going to come out, and it's going to sound like fucking Three Days Grace, you know? <laughs> Which is fine for Three Days Grace to sound like Three Days Grace, but for God's sake, sound like that. No. You don't like that? Um, No, I don't. Joe says 10,000 Fists was the last good album. It was. You know what? I think. Cool story is that that was the first CD I ever bought with my own money, was the 10,000 Fists CD. Nice. That was a good one. That one and The Sickness are the only two great CDs they have. Sickness is fucking awesome. And the rest, man. It just all sounds the same. It's just all nama na, you know? <laughs> you know, that, 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 that's a funny joke. Back when I had my iPod Shuffle... Um, of course, it doesn't have a screen for you to look through your music, so you have to navigate through all your music to using Such the sound a menu. Poor design. And uh, I'd get to the disturb section and be switching through all the disturb songs to to listen to to find one I want to listen to on the <laughs> school bus. And literally, the the first opening riff of every disturb song was just varied ever so slightly to make it just sound like one just one fucking song. They got one song, and that's what they play every <laughs> time. It's one continual song. And just slight variances on that opening riff. And I'm like, and this is me just sitting on the school bus. I'm like, wow, they don't have a lot so, of original stuff, do they? So, so it's, just, it's just one continuous song where he just like changes topics <laughs> because he can't, he can't focus on one. Yeah, I think I'm more excited for just about every other album than... Maybe not every other album, but that and that's sad because that used to be a band that I liked a ton. Like when I was younger, but <laughs> yeah, now before you like, had fuck. taste. Of, uh, <laughs> well, I still had taste. They still have good songs, <clears throat> but recently, it's no, no, been, no. I, I mean, I I like Disturbed every now and then, but very sparingly. Well, if you listen to them a shitload, yeah, they get. Uh, you're like, what song is this? Because it's all the same song. I hope there's a song that's worse than The Light on the new one, though. I hope I can find something that makes me laugh harder than that. Than that song? Yeah. I, so I, I I guess it's a two out of ten. I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Just you're to looking see. forward to the next really terrible song? They yeah. Make? Okay. Yeah, because if they try to go soft again, it's just, oh, man, it is they so They had that laughable. one song before, the, the Darkness. That one's a softer song. I don't even remember that song. What was it on? Uh, hold on. I have it on my thing. I have, like, all their songs. Because I think I bought... The last CD I bought of theirs was uh, Indestructible. And after that, I was I was okay with not buying anything else. And I think, they'll, I think they have, like, two more after that or something. 
Maybe, maybe just one. I don't know. I don't know. Because I know they have Asylum. Oh, no, they, yeah, they have two more after. It's Asylum and then uh, the newest one. Have you already done a... I think it was on Believe. A ranking of all the Disturbed CDs? Yeah, yeah it was on Believe. I started, but then I couldn't finish listening to Disturbed. I like, I was like, ah, I just don't want to listen to this one. <laughs> yeah, the Darkness like was on the do Believe that. album. Yeah. yeah. I'm dropping plates. I'm dropping plates. Drop, drop a plate, plate on your ass, bitch. You know, I used to hate that. I, was like, <laughs> I love like, that song. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, 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 a, it's a song. <laughs> it's a really stupid song, you listen but to it's ironically. a really... Uh, drop a plate on your ass, bitch. I love that line. <laughs> I'm like, he just must not have any plates in his house anymore. Just keeps <laughs> yeah. dropping them. Yeah. I don't even know what that song's about. I don't either. Like, what does he mean by dropping plates? I don't, I don't know. Is he just like... Sick I'm, sure, plates? I'm sure plates is a slang for something else, but I don't know what it would be. Yeah, it sounds like it's a slang that a child might have come up with. Yeah. I think it's a phrase, but I can't remember what it is. Again, this is another week of me. I didn't go to sleep, so I've been up. No, so you had no sleep the previous night? None, no. Why? Because I fucking... You guys want to record on early. No, and- you, I, okay. Are we going to revisit this? Because uh, I remember someone said the, the, 11 is yeah, when they the wanted to record. The message came from you well, and was 11. Wasn't you that- had plenty of time to sleep until didn't you, this Didn't point. you guys want us to... Uh, Record early though, isn't that what you guys wanted? Well, I yeah, I like to record in the morning so you still have the rest of the day, but then we could just switch to Sunday. But we fucking always do Saturday, remember? Remember how we always do we Saturday? We always no. do Saturday. We chose the one to time do we did Saturday, we always did Saturday suddenly. No, it's not that we always did Saturday. It's I know we it's chose, not that we actually always We chose to do Anyways, Saturday. What time did you get home last night from work? Six fifty in the morning. Yeah, plenty of time to go to sleep. Yeah, for like two hours, three four hours. and a half. I if I would have not planned anything, which I didn't, but I was planning on planning something. It sounds like you have a lot of time to think at work. Could have could have thought something out. I did, but then I didn't do the thing. What was your thing? It was just going to be another studio spotlight thing. Oh, uh, and I was like, ah, I don't want to do two of them in a row. It's kind of bullshit. Wait until the last minute. Yeah. It would have been close to in a row, though. We, in, inter, interluded by a three and a half hour Skyrim review. Yeah. But, you mean our uh, Obliv Skyrim review? <laughs> yeah, it was mostly Obliv- yeah. Oblivion. Yeah. <laughs> Oblivion's a good game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this should make, make this Oblivion's review. <laughs> what do you think of the story from what you can remember? Uh, I think we'd have to all play it again before we would review it. So, oh, man. It's been a long time. All right. Yeah. So, we're sitting at the middle of October right now, and Caleb and I are in the 20s on our games beaten for the year. Near to the 30s. Nearing the 30s. Cameron is sitting at 12. Um, part one of what I want to talk about today. I think I'm on par for the amount of games I beat the first year we had. We did this show. I think so. I think so. I think you beat like 16 or 17. 17 or is what I, what I finished with, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I mean, do you want to make that happen again? Like, is there is there a large enough... Um, Cam Cam only has two games that weren't required of him. Uh, oh, fuck, that's fine. I mean, yeah. we're here to to serve, you know, to serve the masses, not to serve ourselves. And you we're and here I are to just represent. Glutton. I mean, we're here to we represent are, every though. every level of gamer that that's out there. Um, there are people who just play games whenever they have time to play games, and uh, you know, I think I, I represent that group of people—people people who enjoy to play games, but on a healthier level. You saying, yeah, saying ours aren't I don't healthy. know, man. You get real obsessed with some games. Like you went, you went balls deep into that fucking Dark Souls. It was a good game. I, I know, it. but you played that. You played that Bloodborne, and then you played that Dark Souls three, and then you're like, "Fuck more Dark Souls." It, yeah, it's a disease. It uh, infected me, and now I tried to buy Dark Souls two the other day, but the only way to get it on the PlayStation four is to pr- go through PlayStation Now. I don't want to pay for a PlayStation game subscription service. Because I've been able to, I've seen Ads, purchase go, price go, for myself. And didn't you go buy through the it store? 
Would you Would you buy it on twice? PS3. Oh, is that on PS3? So I'll probably yeah. have to get a PS- PS3 just to play uh, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> uh, you should have got a PS3 to play Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, uh, you should play that game with us. But Good game, you have time. Dark Souls remastered, or just Dark Souls? I think would, is it okay? If it, but Dark Souls should be nominated for a review. But is it okay if Dark Souls is the one voted? But some of us play remastered. Well, it's just the remastered version. It's not yeah, like it's, it's a remake. Or it's fine completely yeah. because uh, D Rom likes to throw shade, saying that the game's easier than uh, remastered, even though he hasn't tried it yet. But the game might be easier because it's like more frames. But I will have to say <laughs> the final boss kind of a joke. You can just fucking parry most attacks that he does. And yeah. I beat him in like four minutes. Well, like when I was playing Dark Souls three, Dylan kept telling me that I uh, I had to like parry everything and I'm like I don't need to do any of that. His parry window was just so fucking huge. You just lazily throw your shield across the screen, and he's just like, no. And there's a certain ring you can wear that l- increases your critical attack damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a joke. That last boss fight was a joke. See, that's funny, because I've read online that Dark Souls 3's final boss was a joke to everybody, and I was like, I wasn't laughing at that. That was I was not (laughs) laughing at that. That guy (laughs) fucking destroyed me. Yeah, there's no laughing at uh, the Soul of Cinder. No. That was no fucking joke. Um, However, some of the bosses in Dark Souls Remastered were kind of a joke there were other bosses that made me remember the rage i felt for dark souls uh three and bloodborne but nothing that kindled the flame inside me all right so you played three now which which uh one is hardest to you in what order in order of hardness yeah so easiest to hard or hardest easiest easiest to hardest dark souls remastered dark souls three bloodborne Hmm. I can accept that, but I think Dark Souls 3 was harder for me. Than I guess it was just because we switched which was our first. Well, here's the thing. Bloodborne's bosses aren't as bad, but Bloodborne's regular enemies will fucking annihilate you. Like, yeah. They will just kill you. They straight yep. up are fucking beasts. The bosses are still tough, um, but for me, like, Dark Souls 3 is almost the opposite. Like, most of the guys, once you figure out their pattern, like, it's not a big deal. You can kill them pretty easily. And and it turns into that for Bloodborne as well. But there are still some that, like, if they catch you off guard, they're just going to pound you. And you're just going to get fucking destroyed. Um, So, I I don't know. I think a lot of it does have to do with... uh, which one you played first, though? I, uh, that's really what I think, based on what you've said and what I've said. Um, and I mean, people say like Dark Souls first one is the hardest one, and it's like you just you said you just crushed it. You know, like the last boss was a joke. That doesn't sound like a Dark a Souls game to me. You know, <laughs> I mean, I tried fighting him a little bit without doing that, like dodging around, but it literally you, it was not necessary to do that. Mm. Not necessary at all. So, yeah. yeah. Take it as you will. Oh, uh, somebody said there's a PS4 port of uh, Dark Souls 2. Okay, I'm going to find it, right. and I will play it. I knew there was, because, like... I, but I don't know why. I went on the net, where I went store. on the PlayStation store, I looked up Dark Souls 2, and I'm not talking about Dark Souls 2, whatever expansion, just the, the fucking Dark Souls well, 2. The expansion no, no, thing like you're the, the, the PS4 the one, yeah, the PS4 one comes with the expansion, and they, they call they, it... Regardless of that, I went to both of them. In. Yeah, that's and yeah. it says play now with PS. No, play free with PS now. That was the only option, the only fucking option. I'll go look again today, but I'm pretty sure they're going to. Scholar of the First Sin it is going to prevent the, me from uh, hopping in on that. Is going to be the second game, like okay. in completion. They uh, there's like Dark Souls Three Prepare to Die Edition is like the. Uh, it's still Dark Souls 3, but it has all of the stuff. Um, so I think that I is the... I, mean, I, I guess you can just, you know, after we're done, we can look at it because I, I was not able to buy it. Yeah. I mean, if that's the one, though, I mean, you could have access to all of them but uh, Demon Souls. And you could have... I mean, you shit, you've, what'd you play... When did you play Bloodborne? Was that this year? 
Yeah. No. Was it this year? Was yeah, it was. It was this year. It was this game right here. Yeah. So I mean, like, you could knock out the whole fucking series basically in one year. I could. And, and it is think an about going to Demon Souls. It is an addiction. They are like super fun, and there's something super satisfying about there, being it's. It's the emotions it makes you feel. Just Second the, to bottom. Just the, it's, it's the uh, the difficulty of uh, the game, and then overcoming the difficulty of the game because of your precision. Nice. Yeah. I, I, one thing I will say about Bloodborne, though, two of the easiest bosses I've ever played in those games were from Bloodborne. One of them, the fucking witch one. Well, I want you and then the to other one. play the remastered Dark Souls. Yeah. You bought it on digitally, digitally didn't yeah. you? Fuck. Yeah. I want you to play it. I want you to form your own opinion of the game. There's that uh, Dark Souls trilogy that's coming out this month. Like the first three mm-hmm. together? Fuck. And one steelbook collection. Fuck. And yeah. I think it has a soundtrack, but I'm not sure. Yeah, like the menu themes, and that's it. <laughs> the rest is just like, damn it, silence. Yeah. Why didn't we look into this before we nominated the, the Dark Souls games? I mean, can you imagine I knew if, it was coming out. Can you imagine if Dark Souls had the Neener song in it? Oh, man, that'd be Because I totally would want to. Like, I, I, I'm, winner, like, debating whether or not I should just pick that up winner. instead of just buying Dark Souls 2 and just own... It would be about the same price, because I think it's, like, 60 bucks for all three. Yeah, but then I can just buy but the it's one for 30 But it's... No, it's 40 for the PS4 edition. <laughs> But I already own digitally those copies. I would just buy the one you don't own. I know. Okay. But then you could have a really nice edition. So is that like a goal you want to have done by the the end of the year? You want to get and complete Dark Souls 2? Yeah. I'll have that. I also want to to plat Dark Souls Remastered. So that was what I was also going to set as a goal for myself is to plat one of the Dark Souls games before the end of the year. And Dark Souls Remastered, I feel, would be one of the easier ones to do that with. You could uh, could get a PS3 and play that Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls. (laughs) I'm not not going to include Demon Souls because technically not a part of the series. You played Bloodborne. It's just as much of the series as Bloodborne is. I don't know. I'll look into it. Yeah, but Bloodborne was the game that was nominated for him to play. It's not like he went in and said, like, I'm going to play the Souls games. I know, but he always includes Bloodborne as part of it, though. I do, too. I'm saying, if you're going to include Bloodborne, you've got to include that Demon Souls. All right. Uh, What about you, Craig? Like, I know we, we all have Red Dead Redemption 2 on the horizon, and that's something that we're probably going to play the fuck out of, I'm hoping. Um, unfortunately, I guess Cameron's going to be gone the week I uh, I have off for work. And it's not it's not like a, oh, I can just postpone it. Like, they fire me for five days, and then they bring me back. Yeah, I took that very, that same fucking week. It's, I took that all off, too. But I'm going to go to California for that. What are you Already doing? Already bought the plane ticket. What are you doing? What do you think I'm going to go do? Oh, you're going to go to Disneyland? My brother lives in Anaheim. Oh, so you are going to go to Disneyland. And I'm just going to stay at his place for free and then go spend a couple days in Disneyland and do whatever the fuck else I want to do. Probably meet up with Joe a couple days, too. Nice. I'm sure Joe will like that. Yeah. Um, That'll be kind of cool. I mean, Joe's not really near, but you'll but have he's time. close enough. I'll, yeah, I'll just, he's closer I'll than he is week. now. I mean... <laughs> I have a whole fucking Certainly. week down there and just that, meet up somewhere and go hiking or something. It sucks because Cameron came here and I was like, you should take this week off. And I remember him saying something and I, I felt like it was almost the same week and it's totally the same week. Because so I was like, we're gonna, I want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 online like nonstop this week. This five-day period, that's another all Another cool reason, do. the reason why it's I picked... Only online? Yeah, I'm going to have the campaign beaten by then, and then I'm just going to veg and play online for five days have the straight. campaign The one reason why I picked that that week, though, is because I found a super fucking cheap plane ticket for that week. For, oh, really? Yeah, so, there, and so flying to California and back was just $122. What, 122 $122 for... Dude, that's like less than gas. I know. <laughs> it's and a it fucking... way fucking less. 
Yes. <laughs> that took forever to get there. I know, I've, I've driven there, and then less than 24 hours later, I drove back. I know that less road. Less than 24 yes, hours? I sp- yes. Okay, I spent, okay, I spent almost exactly 24 hours in California, and then drove the fucking 14 hours back. It's a God, lot, dude. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I only had a finite amount of time, and my mom really wanted to go see my brother's baby, so I had to drive down to California and back. It was uh It was like 90. Yeah, but Joe, you didn't come back. You might have spent 60 bucks on gas going there, but you didn't drive back and we would have to. And that's why the 120 is pretty fucking good. <laughs> and also your time. Like you'll just go to the airport and you'll get there, you know? Yeah, no, so I'm going to fly. There. I'm going to fly to so another thing, so I put in the time frame like I wanted to be there, played around with the times a little bit. And I found uh that going through JetBlue instead of the other airline and then mm-hmm. going to the Long Beach Airport instead of the Los Angeles Airport mm-hmm. is what saved me a lot of time. But the cool thing about the Los Angeles Airport, it's only like 20 minutes from my, where my brother lives. Nice. nice. You so know what the thing works is, out. is you can you can fly there. And the nice thing is, is you it, you'll be you'll fly there instantaneously because you you go back uh, an hour when you when you go yeah, there. You go so back like, in time. If I it's a fifty nine minute flight, it's like motherfucker. It was like an, was it was like, like an hour. <laughs> it's I think the tickets like an hour and twenty minute flight. Oh, so it'll only take you twenty minutes. <laughs> but the flight back's gonna take you two hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> the one back is gonna be real long. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the things that sucked when we went it's to New York. It's the spin of the earth, man. That's I what's, know, what's yeah. happening. When we went to New York for KuboCon, because it was like 11.40 when we left, and it was like f- almost 5 in the morning and when we got there, or 6. And I was like, fuck, it's time to be awake. So we just stayed up. Of course, you know, some people slept on the way there, but I certainly couldn't because it was a billion degrees. But you don't have to worry about that because it was just an hour. Yep. It's going to be sweet. Good have old you, time have you gone to Disneyland before? Yeah, once is like when I was 14 or something like that. Oh, okay. And Space Mountain was closed, but I'm going to ride it twice. Once for myself and once for my past self. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, as far as I know, it's open. The, the fucking, the Yeti one isn't, though. So, the, fucking the real fucking lids. prices, though, the, the real fucking like, uh, drain on the funds is Disneyland itself. Um, looking at like you know buying a, a two day pass like park hopper, hopper pass is just outrageously expensive. But looking at the days I wanted to go to Disneyland um, for their like value days where it's cheaper, it's still ninety seven dollars a day. Yeah, and uh, I'm thinking of just buying one ninety seven dollar pass for Disney one day and then buying another ninety seven dollar pass for California the next day. That you could do that, or you could just do no park hopper, and you just stay in one park for one day. That's what we did. We didn't get the hopper. We just stayed that's just in what Disney. I said. I'm well, just going to yeah, buy one pass for Disney, and then one pass for California. No, I know, but if you buy them separately, it can be more. I don't know no, if it's any more. It's but. not. It's it's like a couple dollars cheaper to buy them separately. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's retarded. Yeah, but uh, cool. So, Dark Souls, yeah. Yeah, Dark that's Souls, your, man. That's your goal. I guess that could be my goal. That and platting uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Is that one? So you you think that one's going to be easier than threes? So I beat the game, and I think I'm about sixty seven percent trophy done already. Oh, okay, sixty seven percent already. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's not too bad. How many playthroughs do you have to do for that one? Um, I don't know how many real endings there are. Um, but I'm pretty sure I have to get the ending at least once more or twice more. So I don't know. So like one to two more. And instead of doing this next playthrough, New Game Plus, I might just make a new character and uh, do a different playthrough. Yeah. Because you have to get... Okay, so mechanics of this game are different. Um you know how Titanite's a thing through Dark Souls 3 yeah. um, to actually get a different um, elemental weapon or like a fire weapon or a lightning weapon you actually have to find different types of Titanite chunks or Titanite shards to make them and so you have different colors of Titanites you have to find different colors of embers so the blacksmiths can actually make that weapon um, 
Yeah. I might just do another playthrough, like a Pyromancy or a Magic playthrough, just for fun. All right. You have to find all the spells, all the miracles. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did all the miracles already, I'm pretty sure. I just need to do all the spells now. Because my first playthrough, which might have made it easier, was as a strength cleric build. And so you just fucking dominate, man. It's it's so good. Nice. All right. Um, so I've got a couple things that I want to do. Um, first off, we have a vote this week, and one of the games that I'm going to add on there, I kind of want to play because I feel like I feel like we have these expensive ass consoles, and they come out with these exclusive games, and I don't always necessarily want to play the exclusive games. And that's how I felt about the Spider-Man game for a little while. I'm just like, yeah, you know, it's out there and it's a thing, but I just, I don't know. I just haven't had the that urge, um, but now I kind of do, and I'm hoping it wins the the vote because that's going to be my nomination. Is going to be the PS4 Spider-Man game for the next game based on another media, um, and I I want to kind of keep up on the big. The big console releases, especially for PlayStation, because we have a PS4. We all have PS4s. You know, that's our main console, and it just seems like we should probably play the the exclusives. Like we played God of War, and that was awesome. You know, and I mean, Spider Man's probably no God of War. I feel but. like this is an interesting pitch to try and get people to uh, preemptively want to get Spider-Man voted for I know, before Cam Cam tells people what he's going to nominate. <laughs> nominate and nominate. Well, I mean, the funny the thing is, though, is I'm trying to be a non-biased. You know, I'm saying, like, I didn't want to <laughs> play it. And I'm still, like, lukewarm towards it. But I kind of want to just because... It's a good oh, game. wow. It's an exclusive. You're trying to do the reverse psychology it's, it's thing a, on him, too? I don't want to play Spider-Man. I don't even want to play, like, Spider-Man. I've already fucking I... played and platinum that game, like, a month ago. And now Schweiss wants to play it. <laughs> well, and nah. think about it. I want to give you a chance to remain King Hog. So if you don't have to play another game, you'll have a chance to... You know, I really want your vote. King. You know, that that's a yeah. really weird way to come about it. Because he's already beaten that game. And so nominating any other game just gives him another game to beat. To stay King Hog. It's true, but it I also have, gives uh, him free time to not play the game that... He hasn't beaten, so he could play other games he hasn't beaten instead. <laughs> but he can do. We could nominate Witcher, whoa, and whoa. still, Where did that and come he'd from? still have the time to beat. And uh, I just, your logic does not make sense at all. I think it does. Well, no, it does to me because uh, I mean, look at the amount of games that Caleb and I have beaten. Though most of those, it aren't just sounds ones that like we... you don't want him to have another game he can beat for the show because you guys are next. Schweiss has not slept, Joe. No. I don't want... It's not that I don't want him to have one... I don't want him to have one for the show because he gets lazy when he doesn't have one for the show. He's not as he's not as into playing the game to completion if it's not for the show. I mean, Craig is a man who started how many hundreds of games in his life and you've you finished a fair amount, but there are tons of games that you've started that you haven't finished because you're like a starter, but you're no finisher, Craig. Oh, I'm a finisher. You're a finisher now. Now you mop the floor. But before, for a long time, you would just have played games and never finished them. So I need you to not have Anvil. one that you finish and just dabble, you know, just dabble, dip your little fingers in seven or eight games and not finish a single one <laughs> while we're playing Spider-Man and actually finish a game. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to give you the freedom to choose your own adventure, to choose your path. You choose know? your own adventure. You don't have to play Witcher Three. I don't know. It's... I don't know why you guys think that your guys' nomination is going to beat mine. <clears throat> That's just inconceivable. Well, uh, we I guarantee that yours is going to beat my other one that I was going to do. But I don't think Fifty <laughs> Cent can carry me through this fight. Um, I really don't. <laughs> As much as I want to believe, and I really want to believe that I could pull that bulletproof game off, I just don't think it's ever going to happen on the show. I don't think there's enough. I think we might need to introduce a category, games I begged others to play or something like that. Yeah, yeah, or games that, that someone has nominated four times and hasn't fucking won yet. Honorary hogs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, that could be something. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's 
That's why, Greg. So yeah. Vote, vote Spider Man. <laughs> vote vote Spider Man. Yeah, for your for yourself. Twenty eighteen. So you the, the second Alice Should we game. just announce what we're what we're going to be voting um, on now? So I don't know. Shwe- I don't know if it was wise to to let Twice just kind of pick this topic while he's just so tired he just meanders along but is there any other like game goals or just like um, things you wanted to touch on apparently Schweiss wants to beat a 30 hour campaign within 5 days oh is that how long Red Dead's supposed to be? it's like 20 to 30 hours yeah yeah it's fine just to play the online for another 5 days yeah yeah. well it comes out on the 26th right? Mm-hmm. yeah and I'm off the 5th that's like 10 days 6th through the 10th is when I'm off, so I'll have 26th. I'll get it probably... I'll probably get it that day. I've, Amazon, I've usually gotten it the day of. Usually. I think there was one time I got it the day after. And so I'll play through the campaign real quick, you know, and then I'll do all the online when I'm fired. I hope. I don't know, though. Um, I want to do. I want to do that. I want to play Spider-Man. I want to... <laughs> I really want to finish the Crystal Chronicles. See how quickly games. he wants to play a game when yeah, another game looms on the horizon. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's the it's the red fear, you know. It's the red fear of uh, Witcher Three. Craig, the, counting that is it's cruel. Because what do you mean based, counting that? Well, because it's a game based on another meme. It is a game based on another meme. I know, That's the vote. That's the fucking vote. I what know, is your problem with it? It's it's a stretch, like a 50 cent stretch? game. How is it a stretch? Because it's not a fun stretch. A fun stretch it's is It's literally like, a game based on a fucking book. <laughs> it's a fun stretch is a game based on an artist that makes music. That's a fun stretch. So, so 50 cent bulletproof. So you're going, it's not even based so on a hilarious. So your besides argument 50 is cent like. Himself. You want to have ridiculous stretches? Yes, I want it to be like a ludicrous. Well, you know what? The game that I'm picking is based on a movie that was based on a book. So there you go. That's, so that's two, based on a two, a two-tier fucking uh, media base right there. See, that one I can respect. But your richer is just a one-tier. 50 Cent there was is a like fucking a fucking TV artist. show and a movie. You're playing and, his persona and that he's a built in his music. For Witcher. How awesome is that? <laughs> It's, it's, based on, it's, it's based on his <laughs> and life. Your, and your current vote is a based on a fucking comic book. Yeah, and it's my, based my, on that's, a that's true. Mine, mine is just as simple. And yours is the complex. Just one. as simple. Just as simple Fuck as can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's an easy to meet the uh, <laughs> fucking. What kind objective. of games have like multi tier or like fucking weird stretch? Uh, things that you want to nominate twice um i kind of want to nominate like i don't know like cooking show games and stuff like really fucked up fucking games cooking show like games, hannah montana I will games not to play a cooking show game. i want to get like a hannah montana game on no the podcast. Like, that would be that is that is too much that's what i'm talking about like crazy zany like a fucking game based on a tv then, show then do what? that then don't don't I, i'm vote afraid for well, if i do that, that that's still just as simple schweiss what, what is yeah exactly hell's kitchen game for we that's what i'm talking about that's, that's exactly what i'm that's talking fucking about insanity exactly <laughs> but i can't do that now because it's there's no way the hell's kitchen Wii game is gonna be against a fucking witcher as much as I would love to play the Hell's Kitchen game on Wii. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you try, would desire that more what, than anything. What is anything. this fear against this game that's supposed to be one of the best games like, it's just, of the modern uh, age? It's just so big. It's so much. Oh, don't even complain to me about I'm big af- games. I'm afraid, of, I'm afraid of another Skyrim. Dude, you haven't played fucking Persona 5. That game took Cam Cam's life away. Is that really I had to sell again, Cameron? so every so the game was 105 hours on uh, how long to beat. I beat it in 95 hours only by selling a, a year off my life for every hour. I did it faster. <laughs> well, that and the uh, the Reaper thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for that Reaper thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of want to play more of the Souls games, though. That's like my yeah. that is my other end of it's, year it's goal. Adi- it's addictive, man. It is. You and I fucking pick up Dark Souls Remastered today and then start dabbling in that. I well, promise you it, it'll suck you Isn't in. it full price now, though? I don't know. Is what full price? Dark Souls Remastered. Want to look that up? Uh, it is full price, yes. It's 
sixty dollars? Oh my god! <laughs> what? No, it should be only forty. Or 40. It's 40 I picked that up thirty percent off when two. I picked it up. I'm like, you know what? I'm probably going to play this eventually, so I'll get it. So I'm like, you know what? I just played Dark Souls three, so I'm kind of in the mood for some Dark Souls, and picked it up. I'm like, yeah, in the fucking mood for some Dark Souls. <laughs> Always, yeah. Always. So I want to. I want to knock out at least. Probably at least one and two because I bought two, and that was my one of my um, one of my fat goals for the year is to play all the games I buy. But other than that, um, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to play. Dylan's going to bring a copy of Mario uh, Super Mario World Odyssey or whatever the one is on Switch. That's Odyssey, right? Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm going to try to play that too. I kind of want to start using the Switch more. Um, just because I have one, we have one of the two that we well, have for the shows this here. Bayonetta's. I know, yeah, uh, but it's like, and it's nice having something that I can play at work. That's like a legit console. Like the 3ds is fun and all, but when you find time at the post office to play games, um, during I so I get like a 20 minute break at the end of my shift because I get a 15 minute break and then a five minute wash up. And so I basically just walk wash into up? the... Yeah. He's got to dunk his balls, man. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you do in a five-minute wash-up? What is it for? It's a union thing that gives me more time to play Bayonetta at work. Um, it gives you five minutes? Yeah, five minutes to wash up to clean up before you go home. Which is weird, because that's kind of what your break is for, but, you know, whatever. That's I'm, I'm telling you, I get one of those. I get one of those at the end of the day, and I also get one going to lunch. Why not just two... fucking go home five minutes early? Hey, man, if they're willing to fucking pay me those five minutes, like, because the thing is, is instead of going, because we all we always go to our last break at the very end of our shift, and so like instead of leaving at like, you know, uh, five forty-five, I leave at five forty because I get the five-minute wash up and then the fifteen-minute break, and then I clock out and go home. So I have like 20-something minutes during lunch because I just eat really quickly and then like play. And then I have like another 18 minutes at the end of the night. Wait, so you have a break when you're done working. Yeah, And then you just sit there for 20 minutes before you leave. It's pretty fucking dumb, yes. And that's why I have to have the Switch or I will leave because I will just leave. It's it's weird. I don't know why everyone does that, but they do. We always have our break at the end, and it's it is kind of infuriating when it's like, man, I could be sleeping right now, but I'm sitting in this break room with these like broken down old timers here instead, and it's Why cost not me just have your work shift broken up by little breaks, and then at the end of your last portion of the day, just fucking go home. I don't know. I mean, you can decide when to take your break. I right? can, yeah. I don't have to do it at the end. Then but don't. it's become so standard. And now, and now that I get the penalty pay, like last night, I'm not taking my break early because if I take my break early, I don't get as much penalty pay. But if I take it at the end of the shift where it's expected, where everyone always takes it, I get that twenty minutes of like. Why does everyone take it at the end? I don't fucking know. It was the weirdest thing in the world to me. But now I've like grown accustomed to it and that's just what i do so like everybody's like yeah it's the end of the shift but, so let's just hang out and the now. Thing, yeah and that's the thing is so many people leave early and they miss out on like money because they're like fuck this place i'm out of here like i don't want to sit here for 20 more minutes and i've done it so many times but now i'm like no more i got the switch man i'm just gonna sit back there and play some fucking sexist you know beat em up games until my time's up, and then I'm going to go home and play makes, some more. That makes no sense to me. I know. It's weird. It's it's weird. Everything about the post office just sounds backwards Dude. and designed to be just inefficient. Yeah. It is. It It is. It's designed to be inefficient. And you know what? We have another policy. We have another it's designed policy. to be inefficient? It is, yeah. It sounds wrong, but it isn't. Um, we, there's another thing where like, we set up a machine, right? We set up this huge machine. We have like spinners with like bags on either side and shit like falls off into the bags, you know? Yeah. It sorts it for the different zip codes. If we set that up, if the mail handlers, who are a different set of employees, don't set that up themselves, we have to run it for at least 15 minutes or they can like grieve the whole setup process. So if it takes us an hour to set it up, each one of them can get an hour's pay for us setting it up unless we run it for 15 minutes. And once we run it for 15 minutes, they're no longer eligible to get that. 
Like I don't I don't understand the words that just came out of your mouth. I I don't yeah. I I was like it sounds like a a fighting couple like a divorced a divorcee couple where they're like you know what no if you're gonna do this you got to run it for fifteen minutes or else I'm gonna get all the money from it. Okay, fine, fine. You know what? Fine, we'll run it for fifteen minutes. Fuck you. You're not gonna get any any money from us at the end of the day. It's 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 insane. It's like yeah that that's what I have to deal with. So that's why I take my break at the end of the day. It's because they're fucking retarded. Okay. Yeah, they get so let's paid. not talk about the post office yeah. anymore. Yeah. Um, and so I want to play more Switch games. Okay. Um, I, I also kind of want to do uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but I don't think we have a Switch copy of that, do we? I do. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because you said you forgot Dylan's copy of... Uh, it was for the Wii U. Why, why did you have it if you have the Switch one? I bought the Switch one later. Okay. Yeah. I thought you had. Yeah. And you beat it on the Switch, right? You didn't beat it on the Wii U? Or did you beat it on the Wii U as well? I haven't beat it on either one. Oh. Yeah. You know, can you play games just on the Wii U's console? What do you mean? Like the little handheld? Yeah. I I say little, but it's not. For some games, you can just, like, turn off the TV and have it be on the screen of the thing. But do you have to still be near the Wii U? Uh, you can't be, like, a mile away from it. Oh. But can so you be, like, laying in your bed with the Wii U in your living room? Yeah, I think so. So it's kind of, it is, like, definitely the precursor to the Switch, then. Essentially, yeah. They were like, okay, maybe we can do this, but we have to have the bay, and then now they're like, okay, fuck the bay. Like, why did we think that was a good idea? <laughs> Let's just make it a handheld. Uh, but, yeah, I want to play more of those, um, because those are... I mean, the Mario game is supposed to be really fucking good, and the Zelda game's very highly reviewed. Um, and well, we pretty soon, as soon as more Switch games are nominated, the show will have to pick up another Switch, and uh, so we can play some of those new Pokemon games coming out. What? Why, why do we need a third Switch, though? I mean, it's only it's, two people assigned to it. A... Well, we've been doing three people to games so often nowadays, and the new updated Switch is coming out anyway, so... Yeah, so might as well. Is that, might, is that what you just might. That, that just disturbs me, but at the same time, I saw it coming. Just on based on the amount of times that Nintendo remakes all of their handhelds. Oh, I thought you Switch. were talking about Cameron asking for a Switch. I'm like, no, yeah, Cam because Cam's he's asked, asked for a Switch like for a while. six times. Yeah. But he the, wants, he wants a Switch. And Craig, I had my Switch underneath my router. I say my <laughs> Switch, but this Switch that resides here. Under my internet router for about five months. So (laughs) Cameron's just like crying on the inside because now I'm actually using it. There's Pokemon games that he wants to play. (laughs) Well, soon. 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 Oh, okay. Soon. Do they not have any Switch uh, Pokemon games? Um, They have like a free-to-play type one that's kind of just Pokemon Quest. Yeah. That one's a mobile game. But it's on the Switch. It's also on the Switch, which is fucking stupid. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's also another reason for Extreme. They're supposed to be some of the best games last year, and yeah, we just we fucking bought them and we didn't use them really at all. And so I kind of want to start doing that. Yeah, and you know, I was I know the it wasn't necessarily just for the Switch, but I am Setsuna pleasantly surprised me. I quite enjoyed that game, a nice relaxing type game. Yeah, and it's kind of it's a game. There's, a, there's that's another game that. that's like that one made by the same guy. It's called Lost Sphere. It's also on the Switch. I still listen to the soundtrack from it sometimes, too. Oh, really? Some nice, relaxing piano music. I can think of the main theme in my mind, so it's, I mean, it's good. Uh, But yeah, other than that, I don't think I... Well, no, I kind of want to... Okay, I'm, I'm trying to decide between playing the first two Grand Theft Auto games and the first two Fallout games. And I'm not sure which two I want to play this year, if I can feasibly do that. Flip a coin, then. Because I bought, or I bought, but the, uh, I know which one you should play, should try out, so you can quick, so you can quickly put it down and do the other one instead. What Grand Theft Auto? Because it's a pain in the ass. No, uh, Fallout One because it's a pain in the ass. Oh, really? <laughs> Fallout One is different. It's very <laughs> different. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Diablo, but at the same time, not. Okay. It yeah, kind of looked like that. It's like a top. Yeah, it's a, it's one of those isometric games, but it's like you have a time limit on how long you have to get to the end. It's like you have to get to the end by a certain amount of time, otherwise you just lose. 
Yeah, and I mean, there's a lot of people that uh, the reason why Fallout has so much hate now is because of how awesome people thought the old Fallout games were. Um, and I know Fallout's still like kind of a big deal, obviously now, but a lot of the people I always that were see like, it's, it's it's kind of weird how people like revere the first two Fallout games, even though they're not the best games in the world, guys. I mean, I guess story wise and lore wise, they're cool, but. Um, and then Fallout 3 comes out, and that's when really everyone takes notice of the Fallout series. But then you still have those naysayers nice saying, well, like, the only real true Fallout game is New Vegas, because blah, blah, blah. Because yeah. it's the most uh, immersive. That's the only excuse I've ever heard for why it's better. I've heard other reasons I can't See, think See, everybody of I know says New Vegas is kind of shitty. See, yeah. I, I, I tried playing New Vegas, and I stopped. Okay. But I got real pissed when I killed Evil Disney and it said that that was the wrong idea. Like, they have the karmic actions and I killed... There's, like, there's a guy who looks like Walt Disney who wanted mass genocide of poor people in, like, New Vegas. And I was like, alright, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Thought, and I was I like, that, that was... was an evil action. And I was like, what? Killing the homicidal Walt Disney is a bad idea? <laughs> I thought that was in line then, with your uh, city tycoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, your fucking uh, your I wanted, Sim City. I wanted to kill him. I mean, it is, but that's my Sim City. <laughs> it's not his Sim City. <laughs> uh, I wanted to kill him and see if I could take over New Vegas, which it also didn't allow me to do. And it, killing him was the evil action. So I don't. I don't even know. It, it wouldn't let me take control over his evil robot army, and it, it said that it was a bad idea to kill him. So that's when I stopped New Vegas, because it lied to me. Yeah, I, I think, uh, and it's weird because the Elder Scrolls series doesn't really have that hate and heat, and I think the probably the biggest reason why is because Bethesda's always made Did those. it from day one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and now it's like a new, a new company, They're the new company that came in and made it kind of like... Oblivion and kind of like Skyrim, like the Elder Scrolls games. They made it their own with uh, the lore and the backstory of the first two games. Um, so I kind of want to, I kind of want to explore. Plus, I bought it forever ago because I was deceived by Steam, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh, the Fallout Three Pack is, you know, two ninety nine." I'm like, "Oh my god." Fallout 1, 2, and 3? No, Fallout 1, 2, and Fallout Tactics. Um, yeah, but you click on that, and you see that it's not Fallout 3, and you still bought it. You yeah, can't well, be mad I, at that. It was two ninety nine. I swear to God. What are you going to do? For three games. Uh, well, uh, yeah, forget about it. You're going to pick that up, you know? And that, That's, like, why my Steam library is, like, 600 games, because that shit. Yeah, and then you don't have any of the ones you actually want, so you never play them. I have a few that I wanted. I have all of the Tomb Raiders. Yeah, I, every year I want to do that, and I'm just like, ah, there's no need. I just did it. I did it, and then I only played like the first two, and I I hate the first one. <laughs> it's tank controls. It's, it's not great. Oh, it's worse than tank controls. It's tank controls platforming with like ridiculous shooting controls. <laughs> that game is not good. It's. Yeah, I think it's highly revered, though. It is. It is. But it shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably it for what I want to, what I want to do though. Um, yeah, part of me wants to go back to Skyrim, but I'm, I'm not going to have time with all this other stuff. So yeah. one of these days, I mean, you always could anyway, you don't have to play the fallouts or the an old Grand Theft Auto. Oh yeah. I also, uh, pre-ordered, uh, fallout 76 guys. Oh, did you? Yeah. And so one of the big concerns about fallout 76 is, um, other players grieving, people meaning that they're just going to be bullying or just fucking trolling yeah, that's on people. That's going to be a thing. I know it's going to be a thing. But you what they did have that. But what they did to counteract that was basically if enough, if a player gets enough complaints against him, he'll have a bounty put on his head for other players to kill him. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, they've only just given me a scoreboard. To see how bad I control people, to see how high my fucking uh, bounty can get. Yeah, there's that, <laughs> and then you can just like, and then fucking if everybody just the, like the, hates the, one <laughs> specific person, they can all just like complain about him and then get a bounty on his head. Yeah, that's an abuse. That's an abuse system oh, no, no, already. No. No, you no, can no, grieve no. someone by making them have a bounty on their head. 
They I'm just gonna, like double tiered the grieving. I'm just gonna be the fucking the new Billy the Kid in the Fallout universe, man. Just, uh, it's gonna be the most notorious asshat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that makes me Craig so happy. Get in, in should, in his world. When uh, when PSN allows you to change your uh, your your tag, you should change your your thing to the notorious asshat. <laughs> I might. I think there's another uh, name I want to switch over to, but. Um, no, yeah, they just, gave, they just gave me a scoreboard, man, just a way to keep track of how good I'm doing. That is a good point, yeah, and I'm sure that's what that game is going to turn into. That's why I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to buy that game. <laughs> like, Oh, I mean, I pre-ordered that shit. Did yeah. you get the uh, the helmet thing? No, because that's fucking sold out immediately. Oh, okay. Otherwise, yeah. I would have. Like that was like game. that was a two hundred dollar drop for the, for the power helmet. That's not that bad either. That's pretty fucking sweet for the Jesus. power helmet. I paid two hundred for some of those. I I check periodically, but I paid two hundred for the worst one. Yeah, the one the the statue on the end there, that a steel book and the game and. I think a couple other little trinkets, two hundred bucks, and you get a fucking helmet man, that, you, that can you can wear. wear. It has a little lamp on that it, game a voice cam modulator. Would never take off. Well, yeah, I, I couldn't look at myself after buying that. Don't want to see the shame in my own eyes, <laughs> so I wear the power armor helmet. Yeah, and the, and the, the thing is, is like I bought the Dissidia game, and I think it's a piece of shit game. So like I I know I was fucked over for it. <laughs> And I knew it was not going to be that great. And I just had a feeling. I'm like, ah, this is going to be the worst $200 I'll ever spend. And it's it's up there. It is certainly up there. How much did you spend on World of Final Fantasy? Same. It's 200 bucks. Mm. Got some action figures, though. I think though. you got you some that? equal, equal uh, poor $200 spent. How many hours of backlog do you have on Steam, Craig? I don't know. I mean, I, there's a point to where your backlog is so extensive that there's no way you could play every game in your lifetime. Yeah. Well, that's sick. Jake mm-hmm. has proven that that's not really. A it's thing. disgusting. <laughs> well, I mean, you just have to not work. That's that's so. It's like, why am I buying these games when I know yeah. I will never have time in my lifetime to play them exactly yeah you'll it's, it's never the play idea them. of playing them it's this it's the steam curse like it's like oh it's really cheap and i might play that one day yeah that's why that's, you just that's steam that's how they make their money and that's why you just have to tell yourself like if i'm gonna play this that and their pyramid scheme of the uh the cards yeah the selling of the cards yeah it's beautiful that's not a pyramid scheme you know what a pyramid Dude. scheme is it, it, it's like not a pyramid they, scheme. Everyone sells their cards for pennies, and they always get two cents. Every single sale. Which means they always get the money, but everybody else only gets, like, ten cents. Still not a pyramid scheme. They get money from everyone. They get money from every transac- transaction because they're a market. That's just capitalism. A pyramid it's, scheme is much different than that. Yeah, the, if it was a pyramid <laughs> scheme, it would be like, you have cards... And you have to recruit other people that you'll also get to get cards, and they'll, buy, they'll like they'll buy your stockpile of cards. Then they have to then peddle the stockpile of cards to other people, yeah, so they yeah. will buy stockpile of cards. And your bosses will have their cards, and that so you they just have a pyramid of people funneling money up to you, and they're trying to down at the bottom arguing for pennies while still buying that, packs that, of cards from that you. still sounds like the no. fucking packs of cards <laughs> for steam no because steam you earn your cards by playing games and plus you they just you, the you cards. only earn a finite amount though you only get like four of them you have <laughs> to get the rest and then you occasionally get the drops yeah for, for the free extremes ones. is he's selling his steam cards for a penny each to put his kids through college uh yeah it's i it's a genius it's a genius thing the the steam cards give me such a hard on when i think about how like ridiculous of a business idea that is like we're gonna make fake cards that are virtual we're gonna let people trade them we're gonna let people sell them and we're gonna make money off of each one of these fake cards that we made and we control the drop rates and we control everything about it and then they sell, you know, during the seasons, during the sales, 200, 300,000 a day of each card, each of the 12 fucking cards. And they get two cents a pop. It's like, you're not even doing anything. And you're getting paid. Like, it's sick. You just, like, throw together the code to drop the card. And you throw together the 
image for the card, and then boom, there's a seven hundred dollar fucking profit. <laughs> we create false scarcity, and people just fucking gobble it up. They do, yeah. yeah. It's nuts. God, yeah. it's so beautiful. It's it's a it's a it's a great example of how real money works than real world it, creating yeah. false scarcity of items it really to drive is, up yeah. the value of things yeah, that like people will diamonds? snap up yeah. diamonds are available everywhere yeah they're, they're, they're nowhere near as rare as the people think they are yeah yeah it's they it's just control gold. the market there's gold isn't that rare either yeah well, yeah. I mean, gold, I mean, we still put the value on it ourselves. But so uh, I think you can, like, go through school, get a degree in economics, and just study fucking steam and just fucking these, the, the game economy. Steam is like the and Roman make your whole empire th- make your whole fucking, like... Thesis around it and just, how, you know, uh, and just do, like, economics in the virtual world and then have a whole section of EVE Online and stuff like that. And yeah. Steam and, and fucking paparazzi and plunder and... Uh, all these other but, yeah. cheap jewelry companies. Dude, I, I realize this, though. Um, Provo or Utah is, like, king for, like, fucking Ponzi schemes. Like, there are a ton. There are so many. There's, like, Young Living. There's, like, the two fake jewelry companies. There's, like, fucking Primaric is huge out here. There's, like, fucking... I don't uh, think those are Ponzi schemes. I think you're. Uh, I think you are talking about MLMs, multi-level marketing. Yeah, th- those are pyramid schemes. That's what um, they're uh, I like pyramid schemes. Not necessarily the same thing, but then you're gonna have to throw things like DoTerra in there. Essential yeah, oils, DoTerra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New skin. New stuff skin. Like that. I didn't know New Skin was that way. Uh, Mary, like a month Mary ago. Kay makeup stuff. But yeah. yeah, it's it's all those. I, I, there's a reason why Utah is a hotbed for that, and uh, we can talk about it, but. It's We're talking about they, our future of video games. Yeah. So it's because the Mormons, huh? They're, it's because good at, you like, have talking to people. It's that, but it, this, what it really is is you have um, more or less a right wing society where the man goes to work and makes a ton of money, and the wife stays at home and has to find out what she wants to do all day every day, and so she has a friend who talks to her about this great business opportunity and gets her in on it. Yeah, and pure then they romance. have these. Then then you have um, this huge family that you can go then market to to have them buy in on it, and that is why they're really big in Utah. I've, yeah. Pure romance. That's another one I forgot about. Yeah, sex. It, it, it's just, it's really because you have board. I don't want to say this because this could be misconstrued, and I don't want people to take this out of context. We have you know women at home raising kids and want to make money on the side, and they have these wonderful business opportunities uh, sent to them by people they just know would never just you know pull them around and you know uh, help have them spend their money and their money in a bad way but yeah that's they, they bite take it uh hook line and sinker and now they're peddling the the snake oil yeah oh they get pissed when you call it that too i love it so it's, much it's what it fucking is man i know i'm like it's literally oil it might not have been from a snake i, I really but... want them to find like some snake extract oil so you can <laughs> yeah. literally call it snake oil you. you know what we could fucking do that to pedal to the men out there who can be susceptible to stuff. Man, snake beard oil. And just fucking sell them essential snake oils or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Made from the venom of blah, blah, blah. It's like a man. Yeah. <laughs> Smells <laughs> and, like a man. And literally pedal snake oil. Why do you want to? Literally do that. Why and then smell- just watch how many people buy into it. Yeah. It's like, why smell like a bitch when you can smell like a man? <laughs> snake beard oil <laughs> rattlesnake skin yeah nothing says tough like <laughs> yeah. snake venom yeah <laughs> oh, and then and, then and and then and then you can make a uh, a, a vape juice version of it too oh snake yeah and it, oil, like, it makes you juice. super yeah. it makes you super <laughs> ill <laughs> you slowly build up an immunity to it and then it's awesome once you get there <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, A4 Extreme already putting words in my mouth that I never said. <laughs> Pyramid schemes are perpetuated by dumb, bored brides. I, I never <laughs> said dumb, but you extrapolated that, so. Yeah. Cameron's, Cameron's also speaking from, like, experience, and I can do the same. 
It was the Melaleuca back in the day, man. Oh, the fucking, fucking, what about Noni Juice back in the day? The yeah, fucking... Noni Juice, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> there's so many of them. It's like, and there's so fucking many of them around here. I don't know if that's how it is everywhere, but like, there's no, a I'm like, There's a whole other thing I can dive into why these people are more susceptible to it. Maybe because they're willing to believe in bullshit. Uh, but let's not get into that any further. So... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 So my goal for this year for gaming. Yeah. What's your gaming goal? Uh, besides uh, opening up a uh, Young Living account, a uh, sell- wholesaler some, account. Some Pampered Chef or. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. Or uh, Mary Jesus, Kay. We just keep finding more and more Pampered Chef. <laughs> So Pampered fucking Chef, many. I remember Pampered Chef. I remember going to Pampered Chef parties. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, I had Tupperware. no choice yeah, yeah. either. Tupperware so parties, was... but then, but Mary Kay parties still happen all the time. God. Yeah, dude. Okay. Oh uh, anyway, so uh, I, I just want to. <laughs> That's beat... multi-level marketing, yeah. not a pyramid scheme. Multi-level. I, I just want to beat uh, Witcher Three and the DLCs and do as much in that game as possible. Good. That's I see our goals a lot. That's that's literally all I want to do. Like. <laughs> there's there's so many missions in Witcher Three that I fucking love, and I just want to do all of it. I want to spend two hundred hours in that game. Oh my god, dude! Is it really that fun? Yeah, it's dude. supposed to be it's one of the best games. Sweet. I, I see the thing. The, the issue I have with with I've Witcher so put far, like, 50 is hours that into it. even when you start out, the the gameplay can be very complex. You just starting out, it's a little so I'll rough pick it up, to get in. Play there. it for a little bit and there's start to get into curve. it. And then put it down for whatever reason, like to play Dark Souls Remastered, then go to pick it back up again and be like, woo hoo hoo, I feel like I need to do the tutorial again. Oh, so it, you have played it then a few times. There, there's a, well, there's just a like learning the first, curve. Like, I'm still like in the, in the first hour and a half of the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. See, I wasn't sure if you had played it. And I was like, what, what is this like new newfangled Cameron wants a Witcher really bad thing going on. I wouldn't say I want it really bad. I would enjoy playing it, though. All right. So, okay. So let's just do the vote right now since we've been talking about it. All so right. Cam Cam, Witcher 3, yes. So the vote is for game based on another media. Mm-hmm. All three of us are going to nominate a game um, to vote on. And I will be voting Witcher 3, the video game based on the book series, nice. which I'm actually currently listening to on Audible at this moment. And you could be listening to it too as we play along I the actually game. did uh, get those for so Audible. where can they download that book on audible.com yeah. forward slash nude clan go ahead, go ahead and grab grab those trial. books listen along as uh, as we play the game that they're based on um, possibly um, since I have all <laughs> the faith that Caleb Craig will come to his senses and nominate 50 cent bulletproof oh god <laughs> I, what I, was all this talk honest, about Spider-Man you I honestly court. think that I would do that I think you will and since I have such faith in that I'm gonna nominate Spider-Man because I know you'll do the right thing and nominate 50 cent bulletproof <laughs> Well, I'm going to not nominate 50 Cent Bulletproof. Or and, Blood in the Sand works and, as well if you and want And go that with uh, Vampire Hunter D. What's that based on? It's based on the novels Vampire Hunter D. So we and also have... the movie Vampire oh. Hunter D. So this Vampire is, is this the first where we have all three games based on written form of media? Uh, Yeah. Wow, oh, man, we need to get like a religious. We're game. getting we're getting litter in there, and I'm wondering if that's just because we have that free Audible trial you can get uh, get tacked on to, where you can read these. I don't know if Vampire Hunter D is on there. <laughs> yeah is is it not a com or a written? It's, it's it is, but it's like a it was a Japanese. Book it looks that, like, like a- they have translated some, but I don't think they have any. Like, so are you saying versions. it's it's an anime or a, a manga? No, no, it's like an actual. That's what uh, A Four Extreme seems to think. There, it is. there is also a manga for it. Mm. So there's like multiple levels for this game. For okay, this, so for two, this two comic books and one no, no, it is book. an actual fucking novel. It is not just a manga. Okay, I have the fucking novels. Game, game. Do you have the manga? No, I don't. Okay, that's a first. I. I didn't even know it was a manga <laughs> until like a while ago. <laughs> I didn't even until know until like a little, like a little I, have, I, have, I have the books and the movies, and then, <laughs> then I was like, "Oh, there's there's uh, there's manga for it," and now I have the game. So 
Yeah. Wait, I seem to remember something way back in the fucking day in high school. I came over to your house and you're watching some sort of vampire anime. Uh, did he have a big fucking hat and a big sword and a robot horse? You just described with almost like, every anime with like there. six legs. But yes, that was probably Vampire Hunter D. God damn it, Craig! Yeah, dude, it's gonna be fucking sweet. So this goes way back for you. Yeah, dude. I okay, love Vampire Hunter D. So those are the three games. Uh, you want to go ahead and throw those up on Twitter right now? Yep, I have it prepped already. Yeah. Um, can we just do like a uh, a fourth vote for Fifty Cent Bulletproof? Uh, like just to... well, I just tweeted it out, so I'm sorry, but we can't do that at this time. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Oh, I was like, <laughs> "Fuck you! You didn't do that." <laughs> you just, what, Craig? I've never know this fourth such party. Why you? you? Why? Why? Why just why limit ourselves? So limit ourselves to three parties? You know, we got. And then I'm going to do my part. We and could show... do okay. So if we did happen to do like a fourth entry. It would have to be King's Hog entry. I would have to get two. <laughs> because there, there needs... We don't have a fucking reward for just being better than both of you. I need, <laughs> I need, I need more than just the acknowledgement that I am, in fact, better than both of you. Isn't the satisfaction knowing you are reward enough? Uh, I've been... That I've had that satisfaction for, for like so long. for so long. It's, I need it's more now. Ash in your mouth now. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it's like the Midas touch. It's like it's so good. I but thought at you the were. Gonna, time, I thought we were going to reward you. Uh, I th- what was going to be the reward? We were going to get me fucking rings and shit, man. Like the Super Bowl, but like we haven't done that. You know, I I had to buy my own fucking crown. Darth Chama just barely got his. Thing for being awesome dude of the year i know we said that like he doesn't really like the the dick pics inside of it either yeah, that's a, that's a joe thing no yeah, dick pics definitely that, joe wait thing. are there dick pics in this one there probably are oh like we already gonna, have a vote on there i'm gonna, I'm gonna looks flip. like we have two votes so i'm gonna do my my duty and uh put my vote now on the Twitter, and just to show, just to show people, I'm I'm coming out. Yeah. You know, so to, far, to, I'm to seeing a level of professionalism that I have not seen from Joe. No dick pics. No dick pics. Well, it's an actual official Nude Clan book this time too. So this I, third person is going to really, really enjoy that. Um, which game did you vote for, uh, Craig? I haven't voted yet. So it looks like the first vote was for Vampire Hunter D. I'm an undecided voter. Okay, it looks like there is a little doodle of what could be, like, Godzilla as a sheep. But there's no dick pic yet. Wow. Okay. What if that's pubes with a Godzilla penis coming out of it, though? Uh, Hold on. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is that what it is? I don't know. Because that's not what it looks like. Here, look at that. Doesn't that look like Godzilla with, like, wool? Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah. Like Bozilla or something. Yeah. Bozilla. That'd be fucking sweet. I'd like to see that in a Godzilla movie. Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, we'll see. We'll see who wins the day. Um, the, the the one hard part is that not everyone is a PlayStation fanboy out there. So, like, I think uh, it's going to okay, be a real so fight. So, Joe wrote notes down for movies. He should have used a separate book for that. Yeah. Because we have a finite amount of pages in this. It's true, but it is October. Like, are we almost out of pages in there? Because I don't think. We uh, um, hold on. No, we still got a good section left, but still, still, it's too much. Yeah. Well, speaking of too much. But yeah. No dick pics. Yeah, we have a. Uh, I mean, we, we can draw some if you commission it, but. Uh, I still love the cover art on this thing. It's just so great. I know. I kind of don't want to change it because it's pretty. Pretty I have, fucking. I have great. some more good ideas for. Uh, for our our artists to uh, make for for new uh, seasonal cover art <laughs> that took me forever to say. Are we all this a little tired today? Uh, is that what it is? Uh, Probably. Yeah, I think I had like four hours of sleep. All right, so we want to wrap this up then? We got one more thing we got to do. We have a drawing that is due okay. for this month, guys. The winner. Of this oh, should we also video. open the care package uh, that was sent to us on the yes, show as well? Yes, we absolutely should. Okay. How fucking hard do we have to shake the device? The winner of this month's Nude Clan game giveaway is Lalania Goze. Oh. So Felicia Nomiko. Um, I'm probably fucked up your real name again. 
You have won the drawing. Um, hit us up. I need to update some stuff. We had a streamer slash listener give us a ton of codes, and I need to add those to the list of things that you can partake in. Um, hit us up if you have like console specific requests, and we'll tell you what we have available for said consoles because that's kind of the easier way to do it. Because um, I don't really have a master list anymore. And I'm lazy. I just, I'm just so lazy. I don't want to like sit here and type up all these games that no one wants to fucking take. That Joe gave up, get so lovingly placed at my home, <laughs> such as the fucking. W- the, would the, you the, say the, it was placed or like abandoned? More like abandoned. Yeah. Uh, like the fucking crouching tiger, hidden dragon game. Like nobody yeah, wants well, that. You know that I, is something that you can nominate. I've thought about putting. I know, but I no. Think, did, wait, did Joe nominate that once? I, I think like he, he might have nominated. I'm mean, like, yeah. why would he not nominate? Exactly. He already well, he it. already nominated like fucking Harry Potter and shit. So I yeah. don't know. I think what I want to do is like, I want to give uh, games that are really brutal. I want to like send them with like funny little items, like a bottle of lube or something. Like <laughs> you can get uh, you can get Bounty Hunter with a little uh, little five ounce bottle of uh, KY warming. <laughs> Just to make it that much easier to slide it on in when you get that game. And mm. uh, and five bucks too. But I think the ten dollars was for the uh was for the fucking armored core for answer. That's what I listed it as, is that game plus a ten dollar bill for taking it off our hands. And no one took it. That game's seriously worth like seventeen dollars. Because Cameron bought the cheap copy, or someone bought the cheap copy, and then the only one that was left was like eighteen bucks on Amazon, and that's the one I fucking bought, so it's hmm. good value, man. I think, I think I might have bought the only cheap copy out there. Yeah, one of you guys did, and you're like, oh, mine was only like five bucks. And I was like, fuck you, man. Mine was like 17, and I hate this game. I hate it. I didn't even get a case. This is the fucking jewel case. Good. Yeah. Damn it. What? Snake oil, beer oil is already a thing. God damn, it was too good of an idea for it not to be a thing. <laughs> nice uh so yeah hit us up and let's grab that package if you know what i'm saying i think it's right behind you all right so this is a uh wonderful gift from our good friend a4 extreme uh we've had a lot of a lot of fun times playing uh some online games with him passing out drunk you know trying to kill each other playing that dead by daylight rescuing game. each other um i am stabbing this with a pen not the best way to get it open. Do you not have a way to open that? Keys would have been a much better. Yeah, or, you know, a knife. All right. Pull it out. I pull it out. I pull right. it out. I'll let Craig open it. Well, I opened it. And I'll Jesus, let Craig. Craig. Get out. So it's it fucking... seems to be a care package with a lot of shit in it. Oh, yeah. A lot of Oof. fucking shit in there. You got games in there. So what games did you pull out, Craig? All right, so I got the Nathan Drake collection, so Uncharted's 1, 2, and 3 on so PS4. Uh, Akiba Strip, Undead and Undressed. I know exactly what that is. Uh, and then I got some... Sexual uh, themes. Oh my God, strong music, music, music too. Is that yeah, what that is? So, yeah, it looks like some CDs. Cool. cool. What, what are they? Um... Between the Buried and Me, Automata 1. Between the Buried and Me, Automata 2. <laughs> and Dog Fashion Disco. Jesus. Sweet nothings. Hand me one and I'll listen to it on the way home. Which one? Let's do the Automata 1. Automata 1? Yep. All right, okay, go. I'll listen to this on my ride home today. All right. All right, Craig, what else we got here? Uh, okay. Second bundle of second, stuff. Second bundle. It's very exciting. Yeah. I, I've been meaning to play the uh, Uncharted games for a while oh, now, actually. Yeah, they're good. They're fucking good, so play them. Yeah. All right, so we got Dragon's Crown Pro. Ooh, not even opened yet. Look yeah, at that. It's like a steelbook copy. That's nice. Damn, dude. Uh, the movie Coraline. <laughs> it's a very odd movie. Oh, gee. Oh, Sonic Mania. That's a good game. It's like a relief oh, art on Yakuza the cover, Kiwami. too. Yakuza Kiwami. A steel oh, book edition. I've heard that one's pretty fucking sweet. That is pretty fucking sweet. I've seen a lot yeah. of stuff online about it's the good. Yakuza games being awesome. Oh wow, that's good way stuff. cool. This uh you, Dragon's you, Crown what, Pro is uh, pretty sweet. This is a lot of generosity from uh, A4 Extreme. Yeah, he gave us a uh he gave us a note with it as well. I don't know if I should read it on the 
We did it on the show. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. All right. Dear Nude Clan, I've been listening for almost a year now, and I just wanted to say thank you. Your show is entertaining without compromise and also inspiring in many ways. For me, personally, you've helped a countless number of dull work days fly by effortlessly. And on top of that, your show has inspired me to live a fuller life. Oh, wow. Thanks to The Hog, I've started working out in the past year and reading more than I ever did in the last decade or so. You guys reintroduced me to Metallica and got me into Megadeth. The show has caused me to consume media such as albums and books less passively and with a more critical eye. I wanted to say thank you and to give back for the hours and hours of free entertainment you guys have provided. So, included in this care package are a number of games, movies, and albums that I love and think you guys might enjoy. Schweiss said he hadn't played the Uncharted games, and I know your schedules don't line up often, but if you guys ever get the chance to sit down and play Dragon's Crown together, it's a blast. It works fine as a single-player game, too. Here's to the show going on for years to come. I'll be listening along. A... For extreme, and he's got a little drawing here. Somebody saying "fucking glitch." <laughs> it doesn't look like Craig because it's not fat, but it's the spirit it doesn't of Craig. Have to be fat to be me. It's the spirit of Craig <laughs> in that drawing. Thank you very much for this beautiful. I think that's him. Wonder it probably is him. I, yeah, it kind of does look like because. Uh, Again, yeah, thank you, thank you for for all this, and I think one of the things we should do is stream Dragon's Crown. All of us playing that. Um, is it a local co-op game? I think it is. It's a... Uh, no, two to four network players. Okay, we'll look into it, but we should stream something that you sent us. Um, but you already sent us something really cool if you guys have listened to the intro and outro for the other show, um, New Clan After Dark. That was also provided by Four Extreme. Yeah. Uh, thank you a lot, man. I'm excited to consume these medias you have sent us. Um, it's gone to a... A welcome, a welcoming home. Hopefully, a home that we can actually play the fucking games in. But we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for some of these. Like the, I really have been like tempted to buy the uh, Nathan Drake collection, um, and then of course the fourth game because it doesn't come with it um, for a while because it's like one of those big PlayStation exclusives that I just never touched. That's kind of why why I want to play Spider Man. Great. It's because it's a big PlayStation exclusive that I haven't touched, so it's the it's in the same spirit of that, and uh, looking forward to seeing what the others have to offer as well. So thank you a bunch for that, and yeah, um, thanks you guys for listening. I think this is going to be it for this episode. Make sure you like us on uh, t- Facebook, Facebook dot com forward slash Nude Clan Podcast. That's nude spelled N E W D. You can tweet the show and. Reply to the show. Uh, send all your shit that's show specific to at Nude Clan Podcast on Twitter. You can tweet me at UFF Podcast. Me at Obsidian Ba. Me at Nude Clan Cam. You can join the join the drawings each month by uh, giving us some of your hard earned fucking money on Patreon. Patreon dot com forward slash Nude Clan um, Gaming, and you can follow us on Twitch where we stream the episodes live. We used to stream the games live a lot more, kind of slacking lately, but hopefully I'm gonna figure out what's going on with my computer and get back into that. <coughs> excuse Oh my god, excuse me. Uh that's at nude clan game or uh, twitch.tv forward slash nude clan gaming. Uh, you can find all of that and so much more unless it's happened since the God of War retrospective episode at <laughs> nudeclan.net. Uh, please join the forums, join the conversation. If not, Twitter's a great place to ask questions with the hashtag NudeClanQ. And until next time, guys, enjoy the nude. May the list go on. Live always in the nude. Yeah!